secret door has let me into this hollowed grounds of the naked and famous jean company. I've got the jeans from No Time to Die. Shh, you're going to want to see this episode. Hello, David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience. We're back in New York City at Naked and Famous with Steve. Steve, thank you for joining That's us. That's right, absolutely. Thank you for having us, uh, David. It's uh, good to have you in here. I'm so excited. It's my first stop in the store. Oh, nice. Store looks amazing. And this is in the middle of the holiday, so it's a busy yes. time. That's right, that's right. Yeah, what are your initial impressions? I loved it. I, I tell you what, I'm, I'm a jeans guy. Okay. I walked in, and it's it's almost overwhelming, but it's very relaxing at the same time. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. We try to make a comfortable environment, and uh, you know, everything in here is tailored to the denim fanatic. Um, everything is pretty much custom. Uh, from our flooring, we actually have denim floors. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. <laughs> which are quite nice. That's right, we have this uh, special fixture over here uh, which we display all of our denim. And essentially this is like a fabric menu. Uh, and so we have tons of choices. Uh, we specialize in raw denim, uh, particularly Japanese fabrics. Uh, we use solemnly because they're considered uh, top tier and the best in the industry. And we cut and sew proudly in Montreal where we're based out of. That's unbelievable. So you know, I told you I'm from the Bond experience. So yeah, we're here because right. None other than James Bond That's right. wore a pair of your jeans yep. in No Time to Die. Were you guys blown away when you heard the news? Yeah, we thought it was awesome, you know, and, and uh, at first we were a little perplexed because we, we weren't quite sure which pair he had chose or which pair he had on in the film. Uh, and then uh, it was revealed to us and we will show you guys uh, which that pair was and we'll talk a little bit about it as well. Yeah, we're excited about this because um, I was able to interview twice the uh, costume designer from the film, awesome. Siderat, who, along with Daniel Craig, picked out these particular jeans, That's the, right. the uh, what they're called, this the weird the, guy, uh, right? Right, so this is the, uh, the fabric itself is the stretch selvage. So the composition is 98% cotton, 2% stretch. And the, uh, the cut itself is what we call the weird guy, which is actually our best-selling cut worldwide. Oh, wow. Now, does it, did the stretch give it a little bit of like play as you're moving around? Yeah, that's right. So typically, uh, you know, denim is 100% cotton. And so the fact that this has 2% elastane makes them more supple and malleable initially, which uh, I would imagine would make sense for Bond because he needs that mobility, you know, for the uh, high action film. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Even though there wasn't a high action part of the film, I will say this, everybody loved it so much right. because he was wearing that RGT jacket. Right. It just looks so Americana. It looks yeah. so badass. He had a very uh, stoic stance. I saw some stills of it. It was very impressive. I thought they fit him great also. They yeah. did. And now, was he, I think he had them like turned up cuffs, right? Uh, potentially, yeah. Yeah. And that's, you're, abs you're absolutely right because that's uh, part of uh, what we were trying to look at in order to determine what the pair was. Okay. Yeah, and, yeah. and these have been confirmed uh, by the costume designer, right. by you guys, weird guy. Also, people found really good images of the patch and the patch color. So you almost had to get forensic yeah. about it. Yeah. It's very impressive, actually. It's very impressive. Uh, and we're happy that uh, he had them on. All right, so you have to help. My audience is all about the sartorial style of right. James Bond, okay. and a lot of people are saying, how do I get the right fit? I'm actually going to try these on. Now, I'm about a 31, 32. It's the holidays. Leave me alone. <laughs> it's been a couple extra cookies. Um, so you chose a 31 for me. That's right. Yeah, we'll, we'll give this one a shot. Okay. Uh, this will be our frame of reference, and if we have to size up or down, then we'll, uh, we'll do so. All right, so I'm going to try these on, and we'll be right back. All right, and just like that, no movie magic, I'm wearing the weird guys. Now, yeah. let me describe what just happened because Steve is a, a jeans sommelier. <laughs> he really helped me with this because first I tried on the 31 and I said, oh, the waist is a little tight. That's then right. I tried on the 32. It was like, you know, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. It yeah. was too big. A little too roomy. And what did you say about the waist? This is important. Yeah, so ideally when, when you're considering raw denim, in order for them to fit properly, you want them relatively close to your waist. So, you know, they may feel a little bit more snug, but over time they will expand. Right. And that can vary. It can be anywhere from half an inch to a full inch. So what we want to do is we, ha we want to have, that's exactly right, a, relative, a relatively uh, snug cut. Uh, I'm sorry, fit. Yeah. Because they, uh, you know, when they do expand, you don't want excess fabric. You don't want excess fabric underneath the crotch or in the behind because then they look sloppy. 
That's right. And one of the things is, so I'm wearing the 31. Right. To me, it fits right because I like the side profile. Right. It's not too tight. It's not like you know a slim fit or a skinny right. fit. Um, but it fits just right, and it fits like it does in the movie. And then Steve did something additional. Yeah. I said, hey, um, how do I cuff these up? And what did you say about the cuffs? Yeah, so this is the, uh, Come the on, cuff that here. was uh, done in the film. And so part of it is, in, in the raw denim world, these are, these are selvage, so it has that selvage ID, ID on the side. And this uh, depicts that they're woven on these old shuttle loom machines, so it's a higher tier in construction. Uh, and it's part of the style. But I also think there's a bit of functionality to it, you know, uh, in the sense where you can easily clean them up so you don't have too much bunching, uh, you know, and, and they look very sharp. I love it. And one of the things that Sidorat, the costume designer, said was she wanted this particular look to look like he just grabbed and went. Yeah. He didn't give it too much thought. It's yeah. not a Tom Ford three-piece suit. Yeah. It's one That's of right. these things that he can get a little rough and tumble. He's coming all the way from, from Cuba to, you know, uh, to, to London That's again. Right. And this denim is perfect for that because whether he is, you know, in the middle of... Uh, you know, s some special mission or he's having dinner or a cappuccino or midday cappuccino or whatever the case may be is, he's going to be comfortable, he's going to look sharp, and he has all the mobility that he needs and all the rigidity and all the strength that this denim provides. Um, it's, it's a fantastic everyday pair. And if you so happen to have to, you know, do a midday mission, they're great also. <laughs> I may just have a midday mission. So one last thing we have to sure, cover, sure. because people are completists when they, when they watch and consider purchasing this, is care. Right. So I've heard so many different things about jeans like when i get these um should i wear the hell out of them should i wet them what do i do to care for this okay so so there are a few things to consider right and the beauty of raw denim is that ultimately you're in control so there's no right or wrong there's a lot of misinformation out there um, there's a lot of erroneous thinking out there and I, i'll explain why let's say you and i i'm sure you've heard don't wash your jeans for six months yeah. right it's like as if they're going to disintegrate they're not the thing is they're going to yield you different results, right? So depending on the input that you uh, decide on, you're gonna get a different output. So let's say, for example, I work at a denim store, I run a denim shop, I happen to run the best denim shop in NYC. Uh, so I wear jeans every day, right? right? Let's say you're only wearing jeans two days out of the week, you're also throwing in slacks and chinos and whatnot. If I'm wearing uh, my jeans five days out of the week and you're wearing your jeans two days out of the week, our six months are gonna be completely different. So what you wanna consider is wear, right? And in that case, whether you want to wash them earlier or, or later on, it's up to you. But they're going to yield you different results. So what I mean by that is I'll give you, a, I'll illustrate a quick example. This particular pair right here is 100% cotton and raw, right? So what that means essentially is that they have not been washed, they have not been pre-distressed. If you decide to wear these for a very long time, let's say, well, it's relative, but let's say about a year, then this, this pair can potentially fade to this. And this, and, and this is the exact same fabric. Okay. Wow. So the gentleman that had this pair wore them for about a year and a half and maybe washed them, you know, a handful of times, right? So the longer you wait, the more contrast you get. However, the same is true if you were to purchase this pair and you say, you know what, I actually like this color more and I kind of want them to stay like this more, then if you wash them sooner, the cotton will absorb more of the dye and so then they'll stay darker over time. And I can illustrate that with this pair, for example. So this pair right here is this exact same pair that I'm wearing, and I wear them weekly so that they stay darker. Wow. Now, the, mo the, the most important thing we advise, and you don't necessarily have to follow suit, but if you wash them inside out in cold water and hang dry, they look much better over time. You preserve that dye much better. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. That's great. And so, you know, the takeaway is it's very subjective, it's very right. personal, and just wear them. That's right. You don't treat them with kick gloves, they're going to be rough and tumble. That's right. The other thing is to kind of retract a little bit. So when we were talking about uh, the cut that was used for the film, it's very interesting actually because the cut itself is more of a slim straight. So it doesn't taper as much mm. as most guys have a real affinity now, which there's nothing wrong of having like this, this really tapered pair uh, towards the bottom of the ankle. But Bond wears a lot of uh, proper shoes, a lot of boots, yep. and the, uh, the slightly wider towards the bottom is actually more classic. And it's interesting that he chose that because of his posture and his demeanor, it actually suits him really well. 
Uh, and so we're happy that, it, that the weird guy, which is our best-selling cut, was actually the one of choice. And it goes perfectly with the Palladium boots, these kind Absolutely. of work-like boots that he wears. It's not, you know, this haberdashery, fine boutique pair That's of boots. Right. That's right. Yep. I was, he, he means business when he has, has those on. He does. Yeah. And, and Steve, you mean business here because yeah. you're doing an amazing business. Thank you so much oh, for inviting the Bond experience yeah. in. Absolutely. And we're going to put a link below. But I will say this. If you have a chance to be in New York City, Step in. The shop is very welcoming. Maybe you'll see Steve himself, and people can come directly to you. Absolutely. We'd be happy to have you guys. Thank you very much. Great. All right. Well, this has been David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience. We'll see you all. i got to start breaking these in real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from The Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information, plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you, just because we know you. Talk to you soon.